Wait a minute. Dab a ranch. Let's pick how large do I look right now? scores and they lose right, like six so USA zero. is playing as Wales as we're doing this podcast it's World Cup season Italy's not in it hey, what a great season for us huh miserable call me a miserable because that's how I feel right now I got Real the hot quick, seat though I'm, I feel kind of upset because someone said I look like Gru do you know who Gru is the minion guy <laughs> No, what, what movies? Or Basically, what? he's very top heavy and it has like the skinniest legs. You do have skinny legs. So like, I, I yeah. feel like someone got, said in a comment, chicken legs, bro. Like chicken someone little. said in a comment, like you should really think about your wardrobe before filming. And I was like, <gasps> oh my god, you know what it is now? I go through like if I wear an outfit on a pod, I have to, I can't wear it again. Exactly, but the last one where I was wearing a white shirt and then the orange shorts and Zeus our broccoli robs were showing. You oh, know what yeah, I'm saying yeah. like. The fucking Brajol was showing and shit. Um, I just want to let everybody know, like, those comments really hurt our feelings. Like, <laughs> that's why he's got the stand. We're humans. He's got the stand right on his yeah, pichadil right now. That's it. You guys are not getting Bro, any where more you, shit. Where's your pichadil? Where do, you, where do you fit it? It's cozy under this fucking little roof right here. <laughs> but yeah, like, um, I was going to do an OnlyFans about, like, my bulges, and now I'm not because nice. people are incredibly rude. <laughs> you guys um, ruined it. Yeah, like you ruined it for everybody else. All right, <laughs> espresso time, aka recap. I finished episode. mine already. You know what's funny about this episode? You know, if, if we flash back to a recent episode we did together, I remember the loser of a trivia that I did. Oh yeah, was, you guys dressed as a nonna. We're supposed to dress up as a nonna. Do you want me to go put the thing on? Yeah, start right. getting get, start getting ready. Start getting warm. It's not up. the it's not the same effect now. I feel if you, you if know? you want me to put it on, I'll put it on. No problem. Yeah, you have yeah? to go ahead. Go put it on real quick. All right, um, I'm just going over my hoodie though. All right, so espresso time. As always, we got questions that we're going to answer that you guys submitted. Got a bunch of them. Sabino and are going to chime in. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll put my two cents when it's needed. And this is going to be a good, uh, a good one. You know, it's World Cup season, like Sabino said. We hope everyone had an amazing Thanksgiving. Yes, ate a lot. I'm still full. Uh, if you haven't, take advantage of our Black Friday sale. Right now, all of our merchandise is 50% off. Make sure you capitalize on that. And support. Support us, you know, any way you can. We support appreciate small. It. That's it. Now we got Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday, Cyber Sun. We got everything. Wow, wow. look at that. There we go. Good. Yep, I can't down. wait for the clips that go viral and you're like that. <laughs> what are you going to do? How's oh, she man. look? There wow, you go. Like stains on Chef the Miguel. Is These are game worn. You already know. Is we got a, a wig here or no? Nah. <laughs> nah All right, now you're asking for too much. Yo, cuz, grab that wooden spoon behind you, that big one. Smack the camera. There we go. This is this is what the people wanted. AKA, I think people want to start me. eating on podcasts more. There it is. <laughs> Gotta love that one. Honestly, this is all I could ever ask for. You know, this I thought you forgot you, about it. This is what makes you happy. Yeah. No prom. I'm ecstatic. I give you another five minutes wearing that. So you <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. So first question submitted by Bay Area Dot Smokey. Bay Area. He, this guy definitely so smokes pot. What do you think Dot is the Smokey? What do you think is the best tracksuit? Listen, we have we have a, a little connection. We gotta go to my guys at Sergio Tacchini. They do the right things. They take care of growing up Italian. So Tacchini is the only answer. Fila is whack as hell. I feel like damn. The I'm gonna I'm gonna have to disagree. I fucking I love thought Fila is amazing. I love a nice velour. Ugh. But my thing velour, is, and the this is kid killed the velour for me. But the con- my controversial take on it is, and I speak for me personally, I love a track pants with a different sweatshirt. So and not then matching. I love not matching. Okay. I love the two pieces, but I don't like them together. Yeah, worn actually, it's one. too good. I like it broken up too. It's too say, much for me. What do you guys think of men partic- in particular that wear track suits? Hey, yo, um, like you're trying too hard. I, I I personally for me the pants I don't no. like it. The pants no. But if I it's like the, the top. Too? Usually the tops are better. Oh, I see. The pants, usually you hear them walking from a block away. Like, 
You know when, legs when those j- jogging yeah. pants like I don't like the suit together. It's gonna be honestly split up. I could probably I'm probably saying that because I'm just upset that I didn't figure out my size for jogging pants yet. Like a, a tikini, yeah. I wore a five X top. I mean, speaking of track suits, that's though, that European fit though. Yeah, you gotta let them know. Speaking of track suits, Can, am I allowed to say it or do I gotta keep it like a yeah, surprise? I mean, give a subtle. Hint. How soon right. until other people start copying us? By the way. Oh, soon. Yeah. But I will say. You know, we had this debate the other day. What do you what do you think is more important? Who did it first or who did it best? Just know that we did it first. And best. And we're going to do it best. Uh, it's just what I it don't. is. Just Some, what something it is. coming out soon. All but right. GUI is going to be dropping a banger soon. Very soon. Next up, we got King BD, the great. He King said, BD. This is a great question. King Baby Daddy. King Baby, yeah, probably. <laughs> Top, it's like my nickname, pretty much. <laughs> we got Top 5 Best Italian Neighborhoods in the World. Okay. Top five. This is off the top of my head. What comes to let's your do, mind let's first? Let's do one each. We'll do one each until okay. we're done. Okay, you start Top five out. Italian neighborhoods. Italian American neighborhoods. Was yeah. well, or no, it like... Italian neighborhoods in the world. So it could be any... Not Italy, though. No, not a clue. We won't include Italy because for obvious reasons. Yeah. Italy's the whole so, thing So like specific... Italy. Like states or it could be states, it could no, be no, parts no. of. State, I don't think know. it should be states. It should be neighborhoods. Neighborhoods. Okay. It doesn't have I mean, to be there's states. like six neighborhoods. There's just like in three Brooklyn. that come to mind. Yeah. All, right. All right. Um, but pick the most New York one. What would you say? The most New York one is Little Italy because Mulberry Street. Even though there's not as many Italians as there, there used to be, there's still a certain flair to it. Like just us going there recently. Like you know the day when me and Little Pick were there hanging up the banner. It's like. I was telling him, like, it feels special to be here. For sure. Like, when you drive down that street and see, like, Cafe Palermo, Cafe This, like, all the, all the Italian names, it's like, this is Italy in the most important city in the world. Mm-hmm. So, when you think of Italians in New York, you automatically have to say Little Italy, even though some would say Arthur Avenue and Bensonhurst or Williams, whatever the case is, Staten Island. No, none of them could top Little Italy. Agreed. Miguel, Agreed. what would you say? Listen, we're Williamsburg born and raised, still live here. Rock still lives here. I'm going to have to say Williamsburg. Is this shots at me that I don't live here anymore? I mean, that too, but... <laughs> I'm from how you... I live... In, I'm not from how you doing beach, but Howard Beach got a lot of Italians too. I mean, I was going to say that when it com- came back to me. So we could do Williamsburg, <laughs> Howard Beach because he lives there. You can't put Williamsburg there. above Howard Beach anymore. When you, when, when, Says when the Italy, guy who lives there. When, when you're putting on for where you live and I'm Italian putting on for where I live. For Italian neighborhood. First of all, if you go to Brothers Ravioli, you got the Goombas in front at all times. Even today that it's like 30 degrees there in front. Hey, how you doing? Like, you feel it. You know what I'm saying? In Williamsburg, we probably just got here. <laughs> but like, think about it, right? Howard Beach when you're when Italy won the Euro Cup, we were celebrating in Howard Beach, bro. Howard Beach, you didn't Beach celebrate and, here. No, and over here was a ghost town. So that's what you got to think for a second. You know what I mean? And listen, Judas, Williamsburg. Judas. Like, I'm not from how you doing beach, but how you doing beaches before Williamsburg. I'm just saying, as far as Italian, like, don't get me wrong, I'd rather collect rent in Williamsburg, but <laughs> like, listen, this is the neighborhood that made us. So when you're talking about. Italian neighborhood, favorite Italian neighborhoods, Williamsburg's on the list. Whether there's are still Italians here or not, this neighborhood made our family. When our family migrated from Italy to New York, they came to Williamsburg. Yeah, but you so don't tone it goombas. down a couple notches when you talk about Williamsburg. We got no Goombas at all. I wish we just had some more Goombas. Like we gotta, so you know what? We gotta... Rally them up, put them in your car, and bring them to Frost and Graham. No, but the ones that brothers are really amazing. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Bro. They like they got the track suits on. Talk about track suits, like they're sponsored by Takini. But um, yeah, so shout out to how you doing beach. We gotta say um a story on Whitestone. Well, you guys are mentioning all America. You're not gonna mention like Toronto. All right, Toronto's cool, St. Clair's. But all what about Toronto Buenos? like a lot of the Toronto I'm not gonna say all Toronto Italians are like mad annoying. <laughs> One thing I will say, the reason I'm mentioning all New York neighborhoods is because when you, when I think Italian-American, New York Italians are just built different. 
when you're talking about Italian Americans, we are the best. I yeah. personally, yeah. I think hands down too. There's would, like it's not even up for debate. So Sabino, keep your what if you want to argue me on this, don't even bother. New York Italians are the best Italian Americans. Period. Okay, so we're gonna say Little Italy. I would say North End in Boston. That's gotta be. I've yeah, never, North, uh, North I've End. Never, I've never that has been, to be top five. but it did, is on my list to North make it End out is there. Very authentic. I would say La Boca Buenos Aires. Bro, you've never been there, so yeah, I'm but bro, say they it. have so because. I so, see the numbers. All right, Rock was just on Google, is no. what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo, Brazil, too, then? <laughs> yes, throw them up there. And at five, I have to put Toronto up there. Yeah, so, all right, look, Toronto's going to make it. I'm just saying, I, I, I hate when they're like, hey, hey, yo, Spro, hey? I'm, I, yeah, hey? see, I like, can't. That game is so bro, stupid. I can't connect facts is facts, with Canadian you know? Italians, and that's why I didn't say them, because I've... I've I know Italians from Canada, and we're just so different. They just think, uh, Canadian Italians think they're better than us, but they're not. Well, they also say manja cake. Yeah, manja cake is corny. Which I still don't understand what exactly that means. But I will say, Germany has a big, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Germany, I thought Germany was dope when I went, and there was a lot of Italians. I just can't speak because I've never been there. Shice. How about we do my top five, Miguel's top five, and your top five? Ugh. I was gonna. I was getting ready to move on. Yeah, like, let's move on. Let's I move on. I can't think of too many. Sabino's take doesn't matter after the argument. Sabino's like, all right, we got Williamsburg, Howard Beach, Hidalgo <laughs> <laughs> Beach. Uh, all right, it's like old New York. Benjamin. What else would you say though, if you had to? If what was it mentioned that you would say? I mean, that's Philly. Philly should be. Philly mentioned. does have a good. Uh, Philly's very passionate. Yeah, I would say. The only thing is they all call it gravy, which concerns me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next question. We got S underscore. Tali. Tali? Tali, like Italy, but uh, without the I. Okay. Would you ever do an event that would bring a lot of this community together? We've we've been doing events uh, that bring this community together. No? And the events are so... Oh, dealing with people so hard, guys. Very tough. We right? love you guys, but you guys... Italians are the first to, like, criticize. And, like, I love doing events, but it's... Triple, quadruple amount of the work that it should be. It's it's a lot of work, but I I feel like with the right team we could we could definitely incorporate more on like events. a bigger it's a scale. It's a headache for sure, but yeah, our whole goal is definitely to connect as much as possible. But I will say Italians don't make it very easy. I like, think people in general yeah. don't make it easy. Very like, hard. Uh, yeah, when we did the Scopa tournament. Yeah, I mean they're they're fun, they're great successes, yeah. but it's a lot of work mm-hmm. for yeah. sure. Uh, Justin. Chiaburri, 1828. He said, what's the best non-Italian food? I mean, I something popped into my head, but... Well, pick is right now on scream Japanese. Japanese is good, but I like Spanish food. Like, uh, and I can't like pinpoint one specific one because I'm thinking like yeah, like this rice and rice like you're and thinking beans. of like food from Spain. You're saying no, 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 no. Like it's like Southern American. Yes, inspired. like uh, rice and beans, pernil. I love a good taco. You know what I mean? That's, I like, think that's yeah. second. Yeah, bro, but that's like 16 things. It's, it's hard because, yeah, I know what you mean though. Like tacos more Mexican. It is Spanish inspired though. Spanish yeah. inspired, I mean. I don't yeah. know exactly. Japanese is good too. so many cultures. I, I, I don't eat fish. So like I'm very, that's why I would say rice and beans. You're a bean machine, yo. I do love beans. You love beans. As long as you let it rip, we'll be all right. <laughs> she, she used to eat beans out of the freaking can when we were kids. Like, <laughs> what's what's your favorite? Yo, this best is best non-Italian. Probably like a crazy answer, but really good Chinese food, like authentic or like Chinese American, like General So. I don't know if I ever had sesame Chinese chicken. chicken you know it's I mean? definitely Chinese American. Like Danny, Chinese like American. Danny Szechuan, yeah, and how you doing, Beach? Like white. Chicken, white chicken. Beer. Yeah, white chicken. You got paid two dollars extra for it. You know, yeah. Sabino's never. You just got your Brooklyn card revoked. Thai Thai food is for very how much good. you're oh. putting on. My for answer Howard Beach today easily is Thai food. I love Thai. Uh, food. Yeah, give me some pad thai. Well, what about a steakhouse noodles? too? Like, American? but yo, pad yeah, thai and noodles is so close to Italian cuisine. Is it not really? The spice. Oh, there's so many different, different flavors no, in there. I'm not saying like. Think of the concept of it. Noodles, yeah. pasta. Vegetables in there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, there's something about like... I love their spices yeah, and their I love the sauces that they use. And they're like uh, curry puffs and... I like Greek know, food too, though. It's a little too plain. You know, like if I I'm going to go off Italian, I want something that's going to bang with flavor. Some pita and hummus. Yeah, that's oh, wait, so plain, What's, though, what's too know? plain about Greek food? It's just... They're going to get tight. 
It's just. It's just what rice, olives, bro. You have a to lot, eat it's Greek a lot of food. oil. Greek food from Astoria is top tier. Tzatziki, like, it's like just Greek yogurt. a lot, of, a lot of seafood though. Yeah, I mean, I love seafood, but I, I could do without Greek. You gotta go to Kakladis. I feel like that's the biggest comment. The place in Astoria. I mean, I, I love... like that place on NASA. Boop. Fire. Wait, like mm. NASA? The yeah, they they from yeah. straight from space. They send you a nice pita bread. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, uh, next, Christian Medoro. What are some good ways young Italians can help slash help spread Italian culture? It's a good question. Keeping up with traditions, keeping traditions alive. If your family makes wine every year, you should try to keep those traditions alive because a lot of traditions we see um, a lot of Italian families lose traditions. For sure. I think learn like learning the traditions is more important than learning the language like i feel like family traditions like making wine like us learning the malocchio on christmas eve learning how to like crochet like that stuff that our family does i feel like to me it's more important to learn those things than the language yeah i agree with both of you uh i would take it a step further and i would say if you don't know anything about italian culture in your you're eager. This is like clean slate. It starts with like following a page that you know promotes Italian culture, a right? So, percent. not trying to self promote us, but you know, go to us, see what traditions we do, and educate your family and what we do. Say, oh, I have Italian roots. What's the best way to learn? Let me follow this page. Learn uh, Feast of the Seven Fishes, right? So, when it's Christmas time, say, hey, my dad, you know, our family in Italy used to do this. I know it's Italian American inspired, but. You know, would love to incorporate this for Christmas Eve. Do we really do seven fishes, though? We were yeah. having to talk about it. We do, like, it. 16. Our, our family does more than seven. But some people were, like, I think that tra- those traditions are, like, slowly... Because seven fishes is a lot. Some people... Think it's dying? I think it's, like... Really? Now it's I more think than that's, ever. I think that's one of the biggest. Well, every Italian loves Christmas Eve, for sure. Well, if you put, like, five in a seafood salad, it makes it easier. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like you can't do, like, I mean, seven courses. I don't know courses. if that technically counts, but... It doesn't? Like, I our think family, it's seven courses of fish. Our family does more than seven, I'm thinking. Yeah, but if it's, like, the way Sabino's saying, we have more than seven. Oh, yeah. I don't, yeah. We definitely don't have seven courses of just fish, yeah. though. No, no. Because a lot of... A good portion of the, like, the younger generation, like, our cousins don't eat fish. Right. So our family does... Tries to do, like, a... Five and a half fishes. Yeah. The next question I love, Andrew V. Leo, he says, pick one place to visit in Italy for the rest of your lives. Where are you picking? Excluding where your family's from, though. So not hometowns. So not, not hometowns. Home oh, yeah. good, because I didn't want to go there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I think it's an easy answer for me. I already know what you're going to say. Milan? Yeah, it has to be. If you're going to go there all the time, because I could see, I mean, I love Rome. I like to see all the old stuff in Rome and whatever. But Milan, you could work there too. Milan is the New York City of, of, of Italy. Italy. Yeah. You could go back every year for the rest of your life and there will always be something new to see or do. We're treated like extraordinary there also. Like they show mad love, especially to American culture. Like they actually love, like, they love Americans and Milan. It's just like, oh, the American. See, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get five quad. Yeah, I, I'm like going to have to agree. Right I'm going to have to agree with your response on Milan because, like you said, every other part of Italy that I've been to, I feel like when they find out you're American, they kind of like brush you off. Like, oh, right, spend some money. Yeah, yeah. You know, like we're not, when you go to Mil- Milan, respects the American New York. Or connection. just the American, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I th- like I said, I thought this was a great question. For me, I think one that gives you a little taste of the South and a little taste of the North at the same time and the rich art history there, I think Florence would be for me because they have won many churches from years years ago. There's a lot of uh, value in art. Like I said, there's a lot of uh, architectural history there and of course, there's small towns there too. So Florence, I feel I've never been there. I, I've never been there either. But I I've went, so how do you know then? I've no, been because I feel like rock, I would never get tired rock of it. again with the Google. No, it's just <laughs> bro. After watching, from, after watching from scratch, which 
was a phenomenal show, by the way. Yeah, we got to talk about that show. Let, a let's bit. actually talk yeah. about From Scratch, right? On Netflix. I was scrolling on Netflix one day. Top show in all of Netflix. It comes up on the top. was From Scratch. Top 10. And it was uh, Zoe Zaldana. I was like, oh, yeah, great so actress. So Gamora and, and Avengers. Yeah, it was. And Eugenio Mastrandrea, I think I believe his name is. Two phenomenal actors. If you're going to watch that show, From Scratch, get the tissues ready. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could all agree with this. That was the best depiction of Italian culture in an American show. That's that I think what I've Luca should have been. Yeah, yeah. that was yeah. the that was amazing. I and we beautiful, beautiful. Once show. I finished watching it, I texted the group chat and I said, "I've never seen a movie, a TV show in America, let alone on Netflix." That, like you said, depicted Italian culture the way that this show did. It was a 10 out of 10 with the language, you know, that alone. But, like, the relationship between him and his father. Yeah, that was like, dude, oh, my God. That, yeah. I was watching that, and it's I'm what like, we go through, you oh, know? my yeah, God. It, it was spot on, incredible. But the true story, like, in real life, that actress is married to an Italian. To an Italian. Yeah. That's how casting Zaldana, needs yeah. to be done. It was amazing. When you're casting somebody job. like that for a role like that, you have mm-hmm. to dig deep and find someone who relates to uh, it. Yeah. Again, like I said, it's based on a true story. Luca too, yeah? should have it's been. It's very, very true. And uh, not to give any spoilers, if you haven't watched it, highly recommend you to watch it. I've been telling everybody to watch yeah. it. I feel, and it fi- kind of feels corny because I'm not a like a romance movie kind of guy but yeah, it's but so you much were watching was, that like I was watching that for content stuff. I feel at it's first. so much bigger than a like the love story side of it yeah. and you know his health issues whatever just the way that show it, it's just incredible I recommend it to everybody yeah and uh, I feel like all the Sicilian friends I have are like yo that's like perfect image of Sicily and what yeah. goes on there like it was funny the older woman that were hanging out. When like, she went to oh, go visit. Get, go check on the doctor's house. I heard he's got six golden chandeliers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, Wild. And like, oh, it's typical Italian gossip, talking crap. You yeah. Know. The, it was, it was the, a lot of funny. the address thing was kind of funny to me because the mother in law. La Via. Yeah, yeah. Like she's on the and road. She's like, over what's, here. Yeah. You know, because when you're talking about addresses in. It's little towns. Yeah. That's really what it is. Like, yeah. it is crazy. I, I've had that conversation with my grandma in the past. Like, no, you have to well, go see this Well, you're not, bro. Yeah. They're going to roast you for saying grandma. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, next question. This one's just for Sabino. Aldo Miracaggi. He says, Chi vince il campionato? It's oh, Serie A? Yeah. What do you got? I hate to admit this, but Napoli's looks very good. But with the World Cup being in the middle of a campionato, who knows what's going to happen. Yeah, Napoli's as hot as can be. Yeah, so they haven't lost a this game. This could kind of ruin it, the, the break, the international break because of the yeah. World Cup. But, I mean, I feel like the easy answer to, off the top of the head is, is Napoli, but I can see Milan winning this one. If I'm Milan? Win, I could see them coming back and winning. Milan? My heart says Juve, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to go your, Not your pockets, though. <laughs> yeah. If I had to bet on it. Yeah, Napoli has like an eight or nine point lead or something like that, right? Yeah, but it's still, you know, anything could happen. Napoli's on fire, but yeah, they could easily. And they have some young kids They who could are easily pull that. off, you know? I would say, I would like to see Napoli do it. I mean, obviously, I don't want to see Milan or Juve do it. So, um, if Napoli did it, I'll be happy. Yeah. Uh, another great question. Stay Looking Out says, is Italian-American food better than the traditional cooking back home? Have we improved anything? Traditional food back home is such a crazy way to say it because Italians in the north and the south, like all Italians, we cook so different everywhere we go. So if you're saying like our hometowns and on Campania that we eat like mozzarella and cacio cavallo and dried sausages, like dried super sad, homemade prosciutto, like yeah, we're smoking chicken parm. You know, like we're, yeah. we're smoking penne alla vodka, but um, like we're talking about, could you live in Milan? The food's incredible there too, but Milan Milan food, like the way the Milanista eat. Tourist heavy? Or? Not that tur- tourist heavy, but even at home. Like if you're like by someone's house and they're cooking for you, they're more likely to make you like a risotto. Yeah, that's northern. Than like a yeah. pasta with marinara or pasta asciutto, yeah. as we call it. Yeah, but that's like a lifestyle thing. Like down south, they cook with what they have. So traditionally, it's something from the farm. They're, they're animals. 
That's what we're accustomed Bro, to. Bro, northern I think it's Italian all a preference people thing. eat horse. Have you guys ever tried horse before? No. I didn't like it. I actually don't plan on it either. It's it like was. It, it's a little funky. It's a little funky, but um, that's a big Milan thing, like Milan thing, like eating. You've definitely is ate that, horse, bro. Is that bro. true with uh, mortadella? That it's horse. Mortadella meat? and brazaola is used bro, you to be horse. You don't even know you're eating horse meat. Yeah, that's weird. They're not gonna. Yeah, I don't think I ever had it. It looks like a steak. It's and very then, lean. Yeah. All right. Yeah, they, they like like have like in the street. Vendors that may get. Matt Fisconi. Who do you guys want to see win the World Cup? So sad that Italy's not there. What do you got? U.S. would be cool. I mean, Pulisic just went down. Hopefully, he, he, he's okay. It looks like he got hurt. Um, I mean, we got to root for America by, um, you know, what we do, where we live. Um, it would be nice to see Messi win one before he retires or Ronaldo. I don't know if... I, I don't so, see you're going to name 45... Nations right now? I mean, one of those three would be cool. Okay, so what is it? Argentina, Portugal, United States. Not okay. in that order. You guys, do you care at all? Not really. No? Nah, no interest? No interest at all. Right, what about you? you I, my number one is, sadly, because I'm American, it's not, even, it's not even USA. That's no? what I'm trying to what, say. What it? It's Argentina. For me. You pick Argentina I want to see US? Messi establish himself as the GOAT. I can't wait to see like, the, like Captain America come like try to beat Obviously, you I'm rooting for USA, but... I th- I want, it's kind of hard to though. I want Argentina. I feel to, awkward rooting for us. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I mean, I understand because I feel the same way. I don't even know how to explain it. I feel like a traitor almost. A little bit, right? Because we know if Italy was here and they were versing America, we would pull for Italy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when we like so, elbowed McBride in the mouth yeah, and yeah. stuff. We got, oh my god, I remember we tied in '06. The only um, thing that's not cool is like I see like Italy so much better than some of these Basuda teams. Yeah. Like, did you see Qatar yesterday? Like the other day, Qatar looked like yeah, they don't look good. They never all. played college That's in the their life. First, first team to open a World Cup that hosted it to lose. Oh, really? Ever? It was funny because there's so many memes like Ecuador when they take the bag for losing, mm-hmm. and then like meanwhile they smoke. Yeah, them. no. I mean, I believe that Ecuador was gonna. They lose tried too. helping them though because that first offside uh, yeah, it was, was not offside. offside. But uh, let, let's let's uh, go into a, a little different topic. I think that's enough of questions. Um, Let's talk a little bit about the lasagna thing. Like everybody was going crazy that we put eggs in a lasagna. Oh yeah, I mean, I feel like you explained it that episode though. No, like, the whole reason. Yeah, but that's, people that's still a went big south thing. A though, lot of people don't put the boiled eggs. Uh, it's at a all. Sal- they put eggs in the sauce, not like boiled eggs though. What that kind of sense. eggs? Like, I don't know. Wait, what are you saying? Like the sauce that goes in the lasagna uh, gets eggs? Bo- if they they put eggs, but not boiled. So what do you do? You fry an egg or no, you make I it think, scrambled? I'm confused. I think maybe right in the sauce you pop an egg in and stir what it. What is it called? Uh, I, don't, I, really, I don't know. Eggs in purgatory or something? That shit's fire. Yeah, that's mad good. I don't like that. No, that's a classic growing up. That's, no, you make that all that's the time. Fridays during no, Lent no, when no, you don't eat fish. I make that. <sighs> yeah. I love that. I feel like if a it has like a little bread. mozzarella on it. But you also don't like runny eggs. Anytime I eat like eggs over easy, he calls me a weirdo. Yeah. First of all, she wears it. I'm not a crazy fan of over easy. Bro, I wear like, everything that I eat. Who the hell That's just what happens. Over easy I, yeah. change. I mean, I know a lot of people that do. You eat over easy. Does, I just don't. Weird. I don't like. What? Popping it and seeing all that yolk come out, then you. Yolk. Well, that's the best part. I love Disaster. eggs, Benny. If like you don't like eggs, it, Benedict, you're you a weirdo. See, like, you see the eggs like running like here. Yeah, obviously. yeah. No, no you don't let it run. You just, you know, you. Yeah. That's it? That's yeah, weird. <laughs> also, people who get bacon, egg, and cheese with uh, over easy egg, you're crazy. Are you kidding? That's the... Bro, oh my God. just have you it guys, scrambled. You guys fry. have no palate at all. No palate, nah, bro. You, you, I'm the biggest okay. one here. I think I Traditional have bacon, egg, and cheese should be with scrambled eggs. That's New yeah, York 100%. law. 100%. But bacon, egg, and cheese with eggs over easy, do not say it doesn't taste good because it's fire. I'm not saying it doesn't taste good. It's just Scrambled eggs... The real way to make is always a movement, right? Yeah. Yeah. This whole time. When was the last time well, you made eggs? Bro, I made. So you like soft like, eggs? I, I, I make a mean breakfast. That's, yeah. that's where it stops. <laughs> it ends and so, but not like pancakes or stuff. Just like eggs. They just like plop eggs, them in the toast, pan. English muffin with butter. Bro, anybody could do that though. Thank not you. Not anybody. Bro, you just you'd be surprised. Frying, you need a frying pan. See, I you put a little butter or oil on the pan, and you don't have disaster. <laughs> Who the hell can't make eggs? Also, if somebody can't make eggs, that's a red flag, though. Like, Facts. if I go to your crib, I'm like, yo, can I just get, like, an egg sandwich? And you're making, like, 
toasted burnt Can you guys eggs? have you guys mastered the flip on the eggs over easy though? Like with the pan? Yeah. Nah, I don't I just use a spatula cuz what I look like freaking master chef. Terrible. Terrible. You do that? What do you go yeah. hard? What do you, who, well, that's who's how you watching get you that you're going to flip it like that? No, it's watch, not about uh, people. Watch Food Network it's not about people much. watching. It's about when I sit down, I eat a good egg. Yeah, but you, you could do the same thing with a... You don't do it for show. You do it for the flavor. <laughs> the spatula could do the same thing, though. I don't understand what? it. No, because every time I use the spatula, I like end up poking it and the egg runs. That little flick of the wrist works every time. All right, l- let's have some fun over here. Let's do some overrated, underrated, perfectly rated. This is what the... The people love the most over here. So we got overrated, underrated, or perfectly rated. We're going to do some Italian-American actors. All right? Al Pacino. (laughs) Underrated. I feel like he doesn't get the credit he deserves. He's... His range is probably the craziest from the Italian-American guys. Doing Tony Montana, Carlito's Way. To me, his range is crazy. Uh, Al Pacino's doesn't get the flowers he deserves. You don't think he gets the flowers he deserves? No, I mean he's he's definitely well known. Everybody is gonna say Al Pacino's great, but I have a feeling the ones on the list get a little more recognition. He's top three for me. I think he's, but as far as where he is, I think he's. Probably underrated because he's not because he wasn't in movies like Goodfellas. Goodfellas, uh, so he doesn't hit that demographic that he should. Yeah, but I do. Th- he's one of yeah, the greats to me, but definitely one of the underrated. Best characters, if not the best, in The Godfather. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's agreed. But yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. And Godfather, I mean, he's the most important character. When you're he in did, a movie like that, you don't have to be in anything else. Yeah, that's yeah. It. yeah, but it's kind of crazy that he wasn't in like Goodfellas. Bro- like that was. Is that like the only mob movie who's in besides Scarface? I mean, probably not. But it's a lot. Know, of, they think do. about it. He was Michael and fucking. No, Scarface. he was in. What do you call it? Uh, the one about the movie here. Donnie Brasco. He yeah, was in yeah, Donnie yeah, Brasco. Brasco. He was a big Lefty. part in there yeah, too. He was great in yeah. that movie. He was Donnie Brasco's underrated movie too. Yeah, it really is. About it. It. Doesn't get a lot of love. Uh, next one, Joe Pesci. I'll talk about range. I take it back with Pacino. I think he's, I think he's perfectly rated. Oh my god, he's tied it up. Yeah, he's he's perfectly. I think I'll give I'll give Pesci perfectly rated. Um, his range is. Guy, he yeah. might have a better range. Yeah, yeah. Then uh, Home Home Alone is insane. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's perfectly rated. He's one of the funniest to me. Like you, motherfucker. Yeah, I feel like we're talking to one of the goombas, you know, or, yeah. or like to to one of our uncles. Where he just has that persona to him. When he's like the mob guy, like in the mob movies, he always plays the same mob, same type part. Of, yeah, he really he like does. always like the strong arm, short guy. Yeah. Like he, that's the one thing. Like in the mob movies, he's always that's why he's perfectly rated and not overrated, or underrated. But um, yeah, that's that's what I would say. Robert De Niro. Oh. Um, I, I say overrated. A lot of people say overrated. Great, great actor. Definitely, like, top. The only reason why I'm going to say overrated is because I prefer the other two over him. Yeah. And yeah. Sometimes in the movie, I'm just like, what a jerk off. Like, yeah, but you can't. But it. his range his is also is crazy. insane. Very talented. I mean, he was but way But when you put him against... Time. Those other guys, to me, he's overrated. Maybe because I like Pacino better, but... Is it because he's like 25% Italian? Is that... I mean, that's what everybody says. No, <laughs> I... That has nothing to do with it for me. I think to base it off that is ridiculous. But I just think Al Pacino's superior. Yeah. Right. I, I mean, I'll take Pesci or Pacino over him. Arguably even Sylvester Stallone. Nah, nah, chill, chill. Nah, nah. De Niro, Lawrence Russell. But yeah. Uh, you know. Rambo and Rocky. Yeah. But I mean, those he's, are... He's amazing too. Character. He's amazing too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like him. <laughs> do you want to do uh, the New York staples or no? All right, so for the next overrated, underrated, perfectly rated, we're going to go with New York staples. The bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. To me, bacon, egg, and cheese is perfectly rated. Like every New Yorker knows that's like your go-to. 
breakfast you, in New York, you automatically think bacon, egg, and cheese. Scrambled eggs. <laughs> I feel like the hipsters killed the bacon, egg, and bacon, cheese. Bacon, egg, and me. cheese, salt, pepper, ketchup on a roll. Bro, there's nothing better for breakfast than that. And you can't even lie. Because what? Tell me one well, other breakfast. Well, listen, if have. it's quick, like, yeah. Bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll, salt, pepper, ketchup. Crispy bacon. That's nothing. I, better. Honestly, I never even say the salt, pepper, ketchup. I just say ketchup. But, like, that's because I prefer it. I think the hipsters killed it. I agree. <laughs> what do you mean? Like New York's that. new breakfast is a bagel with cream cheese. No, bro, nobody eats that. Yeah, but anymore. half the time it's cream cheese with no, the bagel. When you're talking about the hipsters killing the bacon, egg, and cheese, the bagel with cream cheese is what replaced it for them because no, who doesn't eat meat, who's allergic to whatever. I think it's bagel with cream cheese is the new New York breakfast. Well, that's, is that the case so that I eat meat vegan? It will be bagel with dirt. Huh? <laughs> I'm lost. I'm lost. <laughs> bagel with tofu. What are you talking about? Bro, but why I'm, do you say it though? I don't. I don't understand. Like, what do you mean? Like, like, what do the hipsters do that ruin it? They just like all you see on it? TikTok is bacon egg and cheese, bacon egg and cheese, bacon and cheese. Like, oh, oh, you think they they in like made it more pop? Like, yeah, it's popular because like, what's wrong them? with ham egg and cheese or sausage egg and cheese? I think, or turkey egg and cheese or avocado? Like, nah, you're bugging if you're getting turkey sausage or, or ham. Bro, a, a lot of people patty, don't eat pork, though, dude. A sausage yeah. patty, egg and cheese. My mouth's watering as I'm saying this. Sausage patty, egg and cheese. With chipotle mayo's fire. Fire. I think because in middle school, we went to the same middle school, on that corner every morning I would yeah, go there for breakfast. Spot. That bacon, egg and cheese from there and a Snapple, not even like in Arizona, was $3. So that's what you had every morning yeah, for breakfast. The they, and they that, that line was out the door. They made that bacon perfectly cr- crispy. Per- it was literally the perfect egg sandwich. But because I had it every day in middle school, now I'm just like, uh, not what I'm in the mood for. All right, fair enough. All right, next one. New York chopped cheese. Have you ever had a... Yeah, a- I've had chopped cheese. Uh, I mean, I've had chopped cheese in its hometown, Washington Heights. I mean... Oh, yeah, that's right. That's like where chopped cheese was founded, I feel. I think chopped cheese is overrated, I will say. Because I just don't, I really don't see the hype about it. Like, it's It's just a a better Philly cheesesteak. It's a Philly cheesesteak. It's New York's (laughs) chopped up. I feel like it's mad greasy. Uh, Sure, sure, sure. sure. (laughs) That guy would put me in the hospital. I, I don't know. It's just very sloppy. I don't see how, like, what, it looks like chili on a hero. It obviously, it doesn't taste like chili, but it's just too sloppy for me to enjoy. Like, what's traditional chopped cheese? Cheese, obviously, chopped burger, meat. Yeah, burger. burger lettuce, meat, whatever tomato, they use. Lettuce, tomato, mayo, mayo, and ketchup. It, it's just like, it's like a mess in, in a, on a hero bread, I feel. So it's overrated because I feel like, you know, too many people think that it's, it's banging, but it's, it's a mess. No messy food on this side. Yeah. I, I like a clean plate. I think it's perfectly rated. I'll take a chopped cheese over a bacon, egg, and cheese. Hell no. You're bugging. For breakfast? Chopped cheese, lettuce, tomato, mayo, ketchup on a garlic hero. Nah. That is one of my favorite sandwiches. People, that is people, New York's sandwich. People That's that it. see you say garlic hero are going to say you're trying to gentrify the chopped cheese. Because I put garlic on it? Yeah. Bro, like this, but you know, that's my you. preference. I put everything on a garlic I've seen the hero. Comments. I think that's I've flavor. I've seen the comments myself. I'm not going to not say what I like because someone's going to comment disagreeing with me. I'm just, like, POV, I'm just, garlic bread, period. I just seen, um, you know, reactions to when we posted, you know. People say they gentrified the chopped cheese. What else we you did. got? Uh, the New York cheesecake. Uh... I feel like New York cheesecake is actually underrated because when we were younger, we had that almost every occasion. I feel now cheesecake. we don't even have that anymore, and it's so good. There's you're talking about traditional, like yeah, like Junior's cheesecake. Junior's any like strawberry swirl yeah. in there or no, just plain, just plain, plain, plain yeah. Jane, plain Jane. No, I th- I still think it's underrated because I could have that for dessert any any day of the week. I feel very good. And I it doesn't like, get that much love. I like New York cheesecake over Italian cheesecake. Yo, you got hot yeah. takes today. Jesus. Yeah, man, it's trying to go viral. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know, you You order two slices cheesecake. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cheesecake is forever classic, I think. Junior's cheesecake is undefeated. 
All right, that's enough for espresso time. I literally had an espresso for the first minute of the pod, and I'm, I'm good on that. I'm ready I'm jerked up. That's all I need. I'm like, that's all we need. All amped up. I hope you guys all enjoy your weekend with your families, as always. Make sure to like, subscribe, share with a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend. The whole bang. Stop and the bone. Bonanot.